Hello, I'm Caterina Negreiros and we are very excited to be part of this first ever Wine on Earth taste a We are really honored to join in this global virtual event with our fellows from the Wine Origin Alliance that are working for a long time to protect the name of the regions like the Douro region. As a wine producer, I see how the location of Douro region plays an important role in the quality of the wine that we produce. Hello, I'm Mario Negreiros and uh, I welcome you to the more ancient uh, wine region in the world. The Douro region was officially created in uh, 1756, uh, so more than 250 years ago. Uh, and it is really, or at least we learned, with the Portuguese people, we learned that uh, this is the more uh, ancient, the first, the very first wine region in the world. It was created by a very clever but terrible despot, uh, Marquise de Pombal, uh, who was a kind of a prime minister on, on that uh, uh, era, uh, in uh, the 18th century, and he created the Dor region and some uh, people was hanged because didn't like the, the, the idea, he was a really terrible man, but uh, with good ideas, because this is a, a very important region in Portugal and in the world. A very uh, specific region, because it's a mountain region. It's a valley of, of Douro uh, River. Um, the Douro River is one of the borders of our uh, Quinta. Quinta is the, the name of the farms here in, in, in Douro. So this is Quinta das Amendoeiras, uh, which means uh, Quinta, uh, uh, almond trees, Quinta. And uh, so the river is one of the borders. So we are in the lower um, altitude in, in Douro. So this is the region to the big, big uh, red wines. I love white wine, but uh, uh, we don't make white wine here because it doesn't make sense to make white wine in uh, in this altitude in Douro, that the good, the beautiful white wine uh, from Douro comes from the higher altitudes, and uh, but because we are in the lower, we make just one wine, a, a big red Douro wine. Because of the topography uh, of the of the region, we cannot uh, uh, mechanize uh, basically any process uh, in the in the vines. So this is good to the wine, <laughs> bad to the. It's more expensive. This is a very expensive region to make wine, but uh, it's good to the quality of the wine because the grapes are manually selected in the vine by 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 the the people who pick the the grapes in small boxes uh, of uh, 20 kilos each uh, to avoid that the, the grapes uh, are smashed by their own uh, weight before arriving in, in, the, in the winery. Grapes are uh, smashed by, by feet, by human feet. So this is a, a, a wine with a big uh, human uh, contact. We, we touch basically each grape we put in our uh, wine. So I, I, I used to say that Negreiro's wine is a wine made uh, uh, by people with also some uh, grapes. Uh, and this is basically what we do. And uh, the people are basically the, 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 the uh, cell uh, uh, nuclear uh, people who works on, on, on this uh, wine are Catarina, you already knew, she's my daughter and uh, I, uh, my, she will be the boss, but soon, but not so soon, I hope, uh, and uh, Ricardo is my, our, our uh, uh, enologist and the guy who works on, uh, it's a, a very uh, different enologist because he uh, works in everything, in the vine, in, uh, it, and he puts his uh, hands on, on the process, 
which isn't uh, a very frequent uh, uh, attitude in, in enologists, but uh, uh, Ricardo has this attitude and I, I give a big value uh, uh, to this. So, Ricardo loves to work here with us, don't you, Ricardo? Yes, yes. Yes, sure. <laughs> so, what is the, the magic of uh, Douro region? What, what is the, the thing that you feel that is more important uh, to have, to give you pleasure uh, working here? I and, think, and, and particular from this region, uh, specifically. It's, be, it's because of the uh, main part of the Douro wines, our Douro wine, is made with blends. We work each grape variety separately. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have field blends in old vines that we cannot control because old vines is a mix of the grapes, different, uh -huh. different grapes varieties. And uh, here we we try to uh, to work separately, uh -huh. one from each other, and is the blends because every exposure of the of the, our quinta is give you completely different wines. Because one is more exposed to the sun. Yeah, this face is completely different from this face yes, of the, the yeah. same hill. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the maturation of the grape is even the same grape variety is not the same in the if you have uh, one hill and one face and the other and the other face the hill, of, of the, the of the hill. Yeah. Of the, hill. F the blend is uh, uh, a very important part of this process. Yes. More in Douro than in other any other region, isn't it? I think. I think because, uh, like I said, you we can have a quinta here and uh, another quinta one kilometer down the river. And perhaps in this quinta, it, I have a face of a hill and a different face. Yes, of yes, the, like we said before. The same hill, yeah, it's yeah. different. The the grapes are uh, even in uh, they are they have timings of the maturation. They are different one from each other. Mm -hmm. And here in Douro, the pleasure of making wines in Douro, you can have a a lot of fun and. Uh, we have a lot of varieties of wines. Uh -huh. In the same year. This, in the same year. Sometimes in the same grape variety. And the same grape variety. Uh -huh. It depends yeah. a lot yeah. of, of altitudes. Mm -hmm. The vineyards in Dora are planted like 120 meters. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but more or less. Till the 500 mm -hmm. yeah. meters. Uh -huh. So, uh, blend is the key word uh, yes, here in Doro. Uh, about uh, the Douro wine and specifically our, uh, and our wine. So, Ricardo, you were talking about the varieties and that we plant separately and except in the old vines that they are planted, uh, mixed. mixed all together. But what kind of varieties we have? Here in Douro and uh, here in the Quinta, the, there are four uh, main varieties. There's more that some of them we don't know. They are very old vines, so is everything is mixed, so it's almost impossible to to know each variety. But the four main varieties and the wine that we make here is uh, the the main variety of this wine is Toriga Nacional. Is the base of the wine. Next, Toriga Franca, and we put some Tinta Roriz and Tinta Barroca. There's four uh, main varieties. There was a previous study of the, the, the grape varieties that uh, gives more potential, that uh, adapt some way to this climate. And there's four, Tinta Barroca, Toriga Nacional, Toriga Franca and Tinta Roriz. Toriga Nacional is the, gives you the lower productions, but the more deep, concentrated and color uh, aroma, aroma wines. Yeah. And the, the, the Porto wine that is made in this region also use the same varieties? Yes, yes. Then port wine is uh, it's more like simple in fermentation, but more complex to do in the blends, aging, and uh, define what is a vintage, which wine can go to the LBV, which wine can you make a towny. It's, it's more complicated. That's why we don't make port wine. No, we make simple wines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The good, good old red Douro wine. Wine, yeah. yes, yes. We don't have uh, any mechanization. Basically, the, the yeah. grapes are manually picked. Uh, they first go to uh, refrigerated chamber uh, 
to refrigerate the, the grapes to uh, 8 to 10 degrees and only after this they are smashed by, by human feet in, in tanks, in granite tanks. Why do we make this? Uh, why to refrigerate the grapes before smashing them? Because here we pick the grapes by hand. So for us to collect, uh, for example, 4.5 tons of grapes, which is a, a tank. A tank. Yeah. We cannot. Sometimes, if it's a grape variety that we have a lot here, is Origa Nacional. Very small branches. Mm -hmm. um, slow picking. Slow, slow harvesting. Slow yeah. harvesting. So sometimes, even uh, if you have enough people to pick them, we have to wait for two days. Sometimes yeah. it happens to to fill a, a tank. So the grapes came from the the, the vines. Uh, sometimes, like. 30 degrees, 35 degrees. Um, that we don't have time to make a maceration to extract all of the potential of the grapes. So once we put them in the freezing uh, chamber, we crush the grapes at eight, eight between eight and 12 degrees, depends. So we have more time to um, to work with the grapes because the fermentation takes maybe one day, one day and a half to start. So we 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 make a longer uh, maceration. Yes. So to extract all the aromas, all the the color, Tan all the tannins. Yeah, yeah. Of the everything grapes. the the grapes have to to give to the to the wine. Yes, yeah. and we avoid some oxidation, but that is another. Not yeah, the story uh -huh. is more yeah, uh, yeah. technical. Uh, but it, there, there are lots of uh, of uh, 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 advantages on uh, yes refrigerating the the grapes, grapes. before uh, uh, smashing them. If you don't have a refrigeration chamber here, we uh, we put the grapes very very hot in the tanks. The fermentation starts. We don't give us time to work with the with the, the wine, so it's very important to have the, uh -huh. uh, the chamber. And they finish the fermentation no, there? No, 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 no. Sometimes... I know them. I, I'm uh, uh, asking him to, <laughs> for you to know, but I know. So they don't finish the fermentation in the tanks? No. Usually we, we take them from the tanks to... To the vats. Oh, yes. With yeah. a pre pump. Why? Why? Why to finish in the vats? Because there's no uh, better maceration than the... the, the in the feet. tanks. In the tanks. Yeah. Then when, when it starts fermentating, we transfer all of the juice, the grapes, all of that mix to the stainless steel vat because it's a more closed environment. We can control much better the temperature because our refrigeration system works better in the, in the vats than in the tanks. And in the final of the fermentation, we can control much better the CO2, the concentration of CO2 because tanks are very open and uh, here and I know other people that works here in Douro has some problems. Sometimes we have problems with uh, in the end of fermentation in in tanks. Yeah, that's why uh, port wine was created. Yes, to to avoid the the end of the fermentation. Yeah, because if if we let the some sugar there, the sugar will be eaten by by bacteria, and uh, the result instead of alcohol is, is ac acetic acid. So. The end of the fermentation indoor is traditionally a problem, yeah. and uh, so we try to have the the best of uh, the two worlds: the big uh, maceration of the tanks, of the horizontal tanks, and the controlled fermentation of the the, the, vats. the, the vats. Then, yeah. when we don't have sugar in the in the wine, we press it. Traditional press we use here, a vertical press. Uh -huh. It's a traditional yeah. press uh -huh. of Douro. We press very uh, low, low, low pressure. pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Then the uh, wine goes to the to make the malolactic fermentation, not fermentation. Yeah, the malolactic fermentation. Once it finish, they have the aging. Yeah. The aging in uh, French oak. In the French oak uh, barrels. Casts, yeah. Uh -huh. It's simple. No interaction. Only fill them because of the evaporation. And we filter the wine very, very slow. The treatments in this wine, in our wine, is uh, is simple: grapes, crushing, stepping, fermentation, aging, and bottling. Only we, this? 
only. <laughs> and it's a lot of work. <laughs> but we don't have, don't have uh, this. Our wine is not a very technical, uh, technological yeah, I, wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good old methods and uh, yes. well, with with some uh, uh, innovation in, in in terms of refrigerating. Yes, and, uh, yes, yeah, but. but uh, that the process is the same that uh, is made for centuries. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So, Ricardo, uh, this is. They say uh, Douro region is a hard and expensive region. Do you think that it makes sense to make cheap wine here in Douro? No, cheap wine, no. No, because it's. Uh, no, because uh, we have to value the region. So, if you make cheap wine, <laughs> you have a lot of costs to uh -huh. make it, yeah. there's no sense. It's but why is, is it so expensive to make wine here? Like we talked before, mechanization and the, the density of plants is low. Here and in how Doro. is the production here? The amount of, of yeah, six grapes. tons per, per hectare. And, yeah. the, and the normal and the, the average, the average in the other regions? Yeah, in, uh, in some regions you can have 10, 12 tons per So we, we produce about uh, half of the average production of, uh, of grapes in wine regions in, in the world. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Human yeah. beings are much expensive yeah, than yeah, machines. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, and we work basically with human, human beings. beings. And the other, in the other side, is is hard, but uh, I think it's I think it's one of the regions that gives more work to the yeah. local people yeah, surrounding yeah, yeah, the yeah, quintas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because yeah, yeah. in other yeah, region, yeah. harvesting machine uh -huh. can yeah. pick you up in one night. Like for example, I don't know, but minimum of 10, 15 yeah, tons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like something like uh, uh, thirty people. Yes. Working. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the Doro is uh, they have that benefit to yeah. the local people. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of work sure, to sure. for who so, wants to work. Yeah, yeah. But worth it in the end? Yes. To make wine here? Yes, absolutely. Is uh, like I like we talked before. Is a unique region. You don't find another region mm -hmm. like Doro. I like all the region in the country in the hour in Portugal. Mm -hmm. But I think Douro for me is ex is uh, special because of that. Uh -huh. You can make completely different wines in the same region or sub region. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a distance between one kilometer from one quinta to the other, uh -huh. you can make completely, completely different wines. Yes, yeah. even with the same and, and, uh, and depending on your decisions in the winery. Yes, uh, on uh, what to to blend with what. And uh, how to work with the grapes. Yeah. yeah. Some grapes can be the more. Uh, and, uh, yeah. yeah, the timings and the stepping is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. You taste the. To step more and step less. And yeah. Yes, you and play. And I should a say bit. that the landscape is not bad. No. 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 <laughs> no. Not Absolutely. Bad at all. And the wine is not bad. No, no, no. 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 Do you like it? it? It's interesting. <laughs> interesting, yes. You can drink it. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> you know, I hate when people say my wine is interesting because the worst wine in the world is very interesting because it is the worst wine in the world. Yes. So please don't say my wine is interesting because uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>